Good afternoon. Welcome to a new episode of Wiley Wednesday. It's been a while. E. Wednesday. See what I did there? I'll be here all week. Anyway, um, what am I talking about today? Oh yeah, it's, it's Wednesday, obviously. It's Wednesday afternoon. And as most of you know, on a Wednesday afternoon, I am freed of work because I only work until 12.30 on a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what? Um, therefore, Wednesday afternoon is usually a sort of choresy afternoon, doing a bit of washing, a bit of cleaning, things like that. Things that, frankly, I do enjoy. I know I do. I really do. And today's chores were going to be polishing the leather chair and the poof. But I realised that I've run out of leather conditioner. Now, I know people are probably thinking, but you're a vegetarian. Why have you got leather? <laughs> Suck it up, buttercup. Yes, I am vegetarian. Yes, I do have some leather items. No, I wouldn't be buying any more leather items. Yes, I do wear leather shoes. I haven't bought any leather shoes for a long, long, long time. And don't intend on buying any very soon. I intend on repairing what I've got and keeping it for as long as I can. So there you go. That answers your questions before you start ging, 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 on at me. So I thought I must be able to make my own leather conditioner. I must be able to. And that leather conditioner probably includes ingredients that could be used as a polish as well for wood. So I kind of looked into it and yes, I've got all the ingredients that are necessary to make a dual purpose leather conditioner stroke furniture polish. All I've got to do is check that the ingredients are still in date. I'm going to do that now. Cut. So one of the ingredients is slightly out of date by a couple of months, but I've smelt it. It's the shea butter and it smells fine. It'll be fine. It's furniture polish. For goodness sake, what can go wrong? People aren't eating directly off the furniture. Are they? No, exactly. So ingredient wise, shea butter, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, beeswax, and also my secret ingredient, sweet almond oil that has been infused with lavender and it's been infusing for about a year in a sealed jar. I used some of it. What did I use some of it for? To make some balms, that's it. Um, and I'm gonna use the remainder of that to make this polish. So it will give it the smell of lavender and also some of the antibacterial properties that lavender has. Hopefully that will help to stabilise it just for a little bit longer. So any ingredients that might be about to go off hopefully won't do. <sighs> Fingers crossed. What else? And the other thing to say is I'm not going to make a huge batch of it. I'm just going to make enough to use. So hopefully within a couple of months I'll have used it all anyway. <sighs> so Let's go into the kitchen and have a look at what to do. So I'm going to start off with two tablespoons of beeswax. I'm going to melt this in the microwave. So that's the beeswax melted. Now the one thing to say is be careful when you're heating things in the microwave because you don't want to overheat them. This is just melted. There are still slight traces of beeswax in there, but it's just there. But it is hot, obviously, because it's melted wax. Okay, there we are. So to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of shea butter. I'm just going to give that a stir. Then I'm adding a quarter of a cup of the infused sweet almond oil, which I've strained so there's no bits of lavender in it. I'm adding that. And then finally, I'm adding a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. I'm 
I'm going to pop this back into the microwave just to make sure everything's melted together properly. So that's another 30 to 40 seconds and everything's pretty much incorporated and melted together. So for a final touch, we're just gonna let this cool slightly. We're gonna add some lavender essential oil. Otherwise, it will just evaporate into the air and it won't stay. It won't give a good scent throw when we use it. So it's been cooling down for a little while so you can see solids are starting to form again, which is good. So we can add the essential oil now, just give it another stir. I'm gonna add quite a bit. I want a good smell. Thirty, forty drops or so. Give it a good stir and then straight into a glass jar. There we are. And the remainder here, I'm gonna use now. There we go. Two cloths, one to apply and one to buff. Just a small amount on this cloth. It's also important to remember that you should clean leather before you polish it. This is clean. Well, it go, goes on quite easily. And already it's looking shiny. I'm not sure whether you can pick up on that. And then I'm just gonna buff. The smell is lovely. There we go, it's fine. This hasn't had a polish for a long, long time, but to the camera, it kind of looks really shiny. It's not as shiny as it was when I bought it. Let's see what it's like. So I've got a little bit of product on the cloth. Oh, immediately to me it looks a lot better. Not dirty though. It's really suddenly warmed up the colour. I don't know whether you could see that or not, but it's much shinier straight away. And it appears to be colour safe. There's no, you know, no colour coming off on the cloth at all. Just give that a quick buff. Well, I'm quite happy with that. I've got this heart-shaped wooden bowl and I'm just going to see it needs a good clean. I'm just going to see whether this cleans as well. Well it certainly improves the shine straight away. Oh, it looks so much better. It's not that dirty. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's 
much better straight away. You can see the shine. That's lovely. So there we have it, homemade polish. I'm warm now after all that scrubbing and rubbing and buffing. Um, I think the important things to remember with this is don't overheat the mixture too much when you're making it. You don't want to boil it. Um, and obviously apply small amounts. If you're worried about colour safety on certain leathers, then test a little inconspicuous bit of the leather that's not going to show. Um, but to be honest, it's been fine on those items, absolutely fine. Especially on the red one, I thought there might be a transfer of red, but nothing at all. So, but I think that was quite a good purchase. It was quite expensive, so it's probably good quality. Um, and it seems fine on wood as well. I'd be quite happy to put it on any of the pieces of wood I've got because they're all finished. It's all finished wood, so yeah. And also the other thing that I really like about it is the fact that it's all natural, safe ingredients. I mean, I've accidentally smeared some of it all over my body. It's fine. It smells lovely. Mmm, lovely moisturiser. So it could be used anywhere, really. Body, house, furniture, hair. Mmm, versatile. There we are. Um, anything else to mention? No, I don't think so. All jolly good fun. Thank you, bloody thank you for watching and take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Bye.